semangat pagi Bapak Ibu semuanya tim Siambi Niaga, Siambi Niaga Auto Finance dan Siambi Niaga Sekuritas. Selamat datang di Epic Podcast episode ke-11 bersama saya Aprilia Nurjanatin. Izin pantun dulu boleh ya Bapak Ibu? Menonton orkes bersama Marini, mobil diparkir di tempat lega. Epic Podcast hari ini episode terakhir loh di 2023. Nah, karena hari ini adalah Epic Podcast episode terakhir, saya nggak sendirian. Ada special guest yang siap menemani kita berbincang satu jam ke depan. Beri tepuk tangan yang meriah untuk Bapak Li Kai Kong. Halo semuanya. Saya biasa sapa beliau ini Pak Keke, selaku Strategi Finance and SPAPM Director Siami Niaga. Hai Pak, sehat? Sehat. How sehat, are you? Sehat. I'm very good, thank you very much. I must say that this is my first visit to the podcast uh, setting. Very, very professional. HR, you've done very, very well. This is amazing. Great, great. Uh, this is a Lego team, ya, Pak. In oh, the Lego team. Room. Very nice. With very. epic color, of course. Mm-hmm. So I'm so happy to be here. You know, I watch a lot of podcasts, but uh, I've never been one before. So it's going to be interesting for me as well eh, to be participating in my first podcast. Great Pak, betul sekali. Semoga teman-teman di uh, Siami Niaga, Siami Niaga Sekuritas, dan SINAF juga harus jaga selalu kesehatan karena ini lagi musim pancaroba mm-hmm. nih Pak. Peralihan dari musim kemarau ke penghujan, banyak yang sakit, banyak yang sick leave gitu ya, sekalian year end leave sih Pak memang. Uh, immunity cell masih kuat lagi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seperti juga uh, kehidupan Pak, kadang ada matahari cerah di atas kepala kita ya terang gitu ya seperti musim kemarau, kadang juga mendung kelabu nih Pak hujan gitu ya. Kadang menang, kadang kalah, kadang gagal, kadang sukses juga. Yeah. That's life anyway, right Pak? That is a part of life, yeah. Right? Successes, you know, and then the failures also, right? Uh, setbacks, ya. Yeah. Yap, dan itu seperti topik kita pada sore hari ini uh-huh. nih Pak. Uh, ada Quotes Pak yang pernah saya saya dengar terkait tentang winning and success. They said like winning doesn't always equal with success. What do you think about that uh, quotes uh-huh. Pak? I think uh, you know it, it's a very good uh, uh, question that uh, to ask because winning is a part of success, oh, right? Okay. And a, a lot of uh, uh, people, mm-hmm. in fact, uh, media, uh, society measure winning and success. Okay. But I think sometimes we also have to internalize what success is, uh, what it means to ourselves, what it means to our family, what it means to our organization, our culture, right? Um, everybody loves winning. I, I love winning as well, right? And nobody li- likes losing, <laughs> but losing also has, has its own values. So to me, winning does not always mean success. Um, I'll give you an example, right? Um, back in 1996, Um, and when I first went to university, I I watch, I am exposed to this new sport. Uh. Okay. It's called baseball. I, I, then I begin to love baseball. I, I know your your supervisor, yeah. Yeah. Pak Iwan, he is. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know, uh, Pak Iwan got mentioned. Oh, he hey, is Pak. also yeah. Baseball, softball. Yeah, he is actually a coach, right? Good. So I, I never watched that sport before. So when I went to university, I, I watched baseball for the first time. And then I, the the team that I started watching was this team called the New York Mets. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. New York Mets. Then they won that uh, what we call the World Series of uh, uh, baseball. Uh-huh. So basically, become the world champion of the baseball. That is 1996. So winning, very successful. You know, the team uh, uh, did very well, and the way they won it is also incredible. Come from behind. So I fell in love with this with the team first. Then I fell in love with the sport. Okay. And from 86 mm-hmm. today is 2023. Yeah, back then. So it's more than how many years? 23 27. plus 27. 20 37 years, huh? 27 years. 1996. Uh, no, 1986. Oh, 86, right. So 37, 37. years. Mm-hmm. They never won again. Oh. Okay. Right. They were come they came close but they never won again. So they were they were win, they won but doesn't mean that it will translate into success. To me success means something that is a little bit more consistent. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, yeah, uh, translate into uh, building resiliency, building a, a, a winning culture, building uh, a something that uh, Uh, create a long-term uh, uh, memory and continue to build generations or, or year after year after year. So 
you know, while I, I fell in love with the sport, fell in love with the team, I still love the team a lot, right? Even but, even, but 37 years uh, without winning. Um, but uh, are they successful? Sometimes they are, but you know, we measure a lot of success through winning. And but to me, success you know, can be measured in a different ways. So let's, uh, for instance, like uh, personal life, professional life, we, we measure success uh, differently. And you know, success can be in the form of uh, you know, winning in life, winning in family life, winning in work life, professional life. So yeah, uh, that's why winning uh, uh, can translate to success. It does definitely pave the way to success. Okay. But uh, it doesn't always bring success. Pave the way, but yeah. a route to success, right? Yeah, but yeah. not the, the, the success itself. It's not the only ingredient in measuring success because we measure success, uh, at least for me, I measure success uh, uh, differently. Oke, okay, jadi menang itu adalah cara menuju kesuksesannya, bukan sukses itu sendiri, teman-teman. Dan pasti di dalam prosesnya itu Nggak, nggak, nggak menurut lu kita berhasil ya pak failure is a uh, we cannot avoid right when we when we pursue our success yeah yeah, yeah. and failure yeah like I said no, nobody likes uh, uh, failure and you know but sometimes you know, uh, uh, life is a competition uh-huh. right uh-huh. and competition there are winners and there are losers but uh, you may not lose all the time but you may not win all the time also And you know, I think for true failures, I think uh, different uh, people will arise from failure differently. Mm-hmm. Uh, some will uh, be built resilient. Some mm-hmm. will give up. I think uh, a lot of uh, failures, examples of uh, companies, organization, people who really rise uh, mm-hmm. from failure, you know, uh, and and learn from it, build strength, build resiliency uh, to succeed after they have failed. Right. Uh, personally, myself also, well, I have gone through periods where I feel that uh, I have not been, you know, uh, uh, as successful or, or, or winning as much as I want. But over time, I think uh, um, we all build our own resiliency and try to rise up to, to occasions uh, uh, to help us build character and in that sense, right, build our own win- uh, winning mentality. Betul. Kegagalan itu tidak terhindarkan tergantung bagaimana kita menyikapinya. Bisa bangkit dan lebih lagi lebih sukses lagi atau bahkan even give up atau menyerah. Yeah. I think that maybe even give us more satisfaction if you, you know, uh, learn from failure and and rise from failure. Mm-hmm. So that is even yeah, uh, something more invigorating you know, yeah. to a lot of people. Agree, Pak. But unfortunately, Pak Keke, we still live in a society where the opinion to weigh heavily on what we call consider success is the only consider winning is the only indicator of success. Jadi mereka tidak peduli gagalnya, Pak. Pokoknya saya lihat menangnya ya itu lo sukses saat lo menang gitu. What do you think about the? Yeah, so I think you are right. It's basically, you know, if you look at uh, society, so, social pressure, yeah. now especially, right. social right, pressure. Uh, now you have your Instagram, you have, have your Facebook, you have your, you know, internet. Yeah. Everybody measures success through winning, yeah. right? Um, and you can't escape from that. But I think uh, it's very important uh, for us as individuals or as a, a contributor to society or to an organization to internalize some of these uh, measurements of success mm-hmm. uh, differently, right? Because everybody has a role to play in life. And in life, there are you know setbacks, there are also uh, periods of joy and periods of, of sadness, but the, it all the kind of built uh, the character of a person. And, you know, and, and through this uh, uh, life journey, Uh, we can define a uh, uh, winning differently. So, you know, yeah, if you look at my own personal experience, is that mm-hmm. I, I don't participate too much in you know Instagram. I, you told me I have an Instagram account, but I have three photos over the last <laughs> <laughs> three photos over uh, uh, maybe the last 10, 12 years. Yep. Uh, Facebook, I'm. You not, still look so young. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my Facebook picture, I was, I think, in my 30s after. <laughs> uh, so young. Um, I even, you know, uh, what else? I, uh, hmm. I don't, don't have Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Don't have X, uh, don't have. So I, I tried not to be uh, too influenced by what, what is being uh, 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 published or, or, or said in all these social media, even like things like LinkedIn. Why, why, why? 
I don't, um, I think a, a lot. Of, I think the social media has a lot of influence on on an individual because if oh. you start posting something, then you get a response, and then you know, then you first of all, I think it takes a lot of time just to do all these things, right? Whether it's Twitter or whether it's uh, uh, Instagram or millennial or Gen Z isn't doing it. So you know, it, it's uh, it's a constant engagement with people, yeah. and some people you don't even know. And that's addictive, but actually, you keep yeah. Expect yeah, uh, that's yeah. why if you are not involved in it, then it's not addictive. Okay, uh-huh. that's why you. Yeah, so for me, I'm what I'm addictive addicted to is podcast. Oh, every podcast. <laughs> no, HR, because, uh, HR. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I, I thought, yeah, maybe this is a good idea to to do a, a podcast because I spend maybe oh. you know, every day one to two hours listening to podcast. What kind of podcast? Oh, what podcast? Uh, um, what podcast? I like to. I like this thing of the Joe Rogan experience. Okay. I like to listen to Joe Rogan. I like to uh, listen to uh, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, things on uh, astrophysics about the universe, okay. right? Uh, about science. You have so, mm-hmm. no, so I spend quite a bit of time on that. You have to listen end game pa, pa, by Pak Gita Wiryawan. That's very end game. No, yeah, yeah, I yeah. have not uh, come across that one. Yeah, okay. I will share the link after this, yeah, but yeah. I also listen to a lot of uh, uh, <laughs> professional sport uh, podcasts, oh, okay. uh, analysis, you know, games analysis, things like that. Yeah, so that keeps me, you know, uh, uh, kind of engaged uh, with the, the social media in a, in a sense, like, but not, you know, I, but I won't contribute by you know, commenting or, oh, or, or, okay. or, or writing, uh, you know. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. So, Pak Keke juga main medsos, teman-teman, tapi podcast bentuknya. Kalau kita kan actively posting, Pak Keke uh, lebih mendengarkan ya. Passively listening, nggak komen, nggak apa-apa. Listen, tapi, and also look at, I, I do read the comments also. Oh, ya. Yeah, only read the comments, right? Yeah, Not yeah. the comments in it, kan? Oke, okay, jadi salah satunya bisa dengerin podcast juga nih, teman-teman. Selain mungkin scroll, sekarang tuh kan distraksi media sosial cepet banget, Pak. Scroll, 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 tiba-tiba yeah, yeah, yeah. one hour we already scroll, scroll, right? Yeah, actually, yeah, time flies huh, when yeah, you yeah. listen to podcasts yeah. or read comments. <laughs> Now you have super chat juga. Yeah, yeah. You pay, some people will pay money for, for super chat. So yeah, but once you get uh, into it, uh, get addicted, I think it can be dangerous sometimes. Betul, betul. Dan uh, Pak, kalau boleh berbagi nih Pak Keke, dalam perjalanan Bapak menuju kesuksesan, if in my own personal experience Pak, saya pernah ada di fase yang lebih muda dari sekarang ya Pak, itu kerja, kerja, kerja tiba-tiba tipes. Tiba-tiba sakit, hospitalized gitu. Saya melewatkan banyak hal lah dalam saya mengejar si kesuksesan dan yang I thought is a winning. Nah, in your personal experience Pak, what you missing or maybe somehow ignoring when you pursue your success? Um, I think there are periods in in my mm-hmm. career yeah. that uh, you know the Hustle. only thing that matters is really you know work 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 work, work and the drive uh, <laughs> chuan, for, chuan, chuan. for for personal success because yeah. I think when you're younger in your twenties and thirties that's the best time uh. Uh, for any one of us like uh, in that age range to really oh, okay. uh, build a career hmm. build recognition build visibility. And you know, and we will do it at all costs. A lot of us will do it at all costs. Mm-hmm. And you will find that you know, um, there were times I think maybe earlier in my career, right? We will work until 10 p.m., 11 p.m. There were times also, you know, in, in my, until my, my, tomorrow morning. Yeah, and in fact, that the company also, you know, yeah. uh, will give us a hotel room. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Right, and next morning we we come again. So th- these are periods uh, that. Uh, Uh, in our career, that I think a lot of us can identify with. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I look at this work-life balance is not just at the current moment, but the work-life balance come over the lifetime of of your career. Um, in your early stages of your career, there will be a, a certain bias towards work, less towards life. So you spend more time really working and trying to build, make a name for yourself, <laughs> right? And then, you know, when you're maybe in the later stage of life, especially when you retire, it's a lot more life. Maybe the work side becomes a lot less, right? Mm. So overall, over the lifetime, because yeah, first 20 years you're in school, not no, very little work, almost no work, right? You're yes. going to school, school is work. And then you work for the age 20 to maybe age uh, 55, 60. Okay. So then there is a, a, a 40 years. Then the next 20 years, you enjoy life. So it's a lifetime of balance. 
Oke, okay, jadi work life balance tuh bukan terus 8 jam kerja, 8 jam tidur gitu ya, Pak ya? Tidak melulu begitu yeah, ya. Not, not, yeah, not always uh, like not that. measuring it every yeah, yeah, day or, or at the current moment, but over the longer period, ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, when kita ketika kita muda kita kerja keras, kemudian menuai hasilnya di masa tua itu juga work life balance. Mm-hmm. Balancing uh, untuk memastikan kehidupan di masa pensiun kita atau masa retired kita itu all set gitu. Yeah, I think even after pension you can still work, maybe you know, a lesser uh, work or maybe yeah. contract work or, or something. Get yourself, get your mind active. It's good. What your plan for retirement, Mbak? <laughs> <laughs> Podcasting. Uh, really? Yeah, so maybe I, I start a, a podcast talk about uh, success. <laughs> for finance. <laughs> for finance. Okay, okay. okay. Saya nanti kepada. Yeah, so no no plans for for retirement. Definitely uh, something I may think of at a later uh, stage in life. The reason why I don't think about it because uh, Siaminiaga is such a uh, wonderful organization uh, to to work in, and uh, you know I, I really feel that. Uh, There's still a lot that uh, I can contribute towards the growth of CMB Niaga. So hmm. yeah, no, no contemplation of any uh, retirement <laughs> at this station, uh, at this juncture. <laughs> Maybe after this, yeah, but you contemplate on your car back to tower. <laughs> Did you do? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Pak, kenapa ya Pak orang itu siap untuk sukses? Saya lah nggak usah orangnya. It's my perspective. I tend ready to be success, but not ready to be failed. I mean, like. It is like two sides of coin, right? Success and fail. But why people or most people not ready to be fail? Jadi once kita, ketika kita fail tuh sedih atau mungkin desperate gitu. Dan ke, terutama untuk anak-anak muda nih Pak, karena kita itu kan sudah dipersenjatai dengan amunisi yang lengkap Pak. Teknologi, informasi, education, much way better than our ex or maybe baby boomers, mm-hmm. right? Jadi ketika kita sukses, padahal mungkin untuk baby boomers atau ex tuh itu a piece of cake gitu. Tapi buat kita tuh mental health banget nih Pak, mental illness itu tuh, what, what do you think Pak? Uh, yeah, I think uh, a lot of it has to do with uh, social pressure, hmm. right? Um, Again. What some may regard as failure now may not be something uh, as regarded as a failure maybe uh, 20 years ago, uh, uh-huh. maybe 10 years ago. Because there is so much competition now, so much more uh, availability of information, yeah. right? And mm-hmm. people like to compare, you know. Yeah. You compare your car, you compare your your house, compare your your wealth. So it's easy to see that wow, I'm not doing as well as this person, but uh, this uh, but I'm doing better than this person. But yeah. a lot of things are are, are relative. Uh, it can be due to the situation, due to uh, the situation you're in, the the society that the people that you mix with. So, um, so we got to measure success uh, or measure failure the same way we measure success, okay. right? So take it over. To me, I would say that take it over a longer term, hmm. right? So at certain periods in life, yes, we may not be uh, as successful. Let's say as a a schoolmate or, or somebody we yeah, know or a peer start. that we know that mm-hmm. has worked with us mm-hmm. but you know life is a journey you know? a career is a, a is a is a journey also so in different you know stages of your career things will, will evolve very differently so today you may be in your 20s or in your 30s right so things may move in a certain direction but then there are opportunities that may come along the way because when you you know uh, continue to be consistent or, or build your your uh, uh you know uh your, your professional career build your uh, uh consistency uh in in your contribution towards anything you do then then you, the recognition will come so some may come soon some may come later but i think you know as long as you are being honest to yourself being consistent uh, everybody stands a chance uh, uh, to be successful or, or to overcome failures as well yeah consistent and resiliency yeah, but... I think resiliency is a, a very important part of mm-hmm. uh, uh, earning success because because you build resiliency typically through through failures, yeah. right? And uh-huh. and okay. maybe you know, failure is not a, a good term to use, but uh, you know sometimes we have setbacks, uh, things setbacks. that uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you you think uh, uh, will work for you, but it, it did not. Things that uh, let's say you know, it can be in. Uh, Uh, in in sports or okay. in, in work or in, in life, right? There there are different times where things does not work out as you plan, 
Uh, but you know, as long as you can, you you do have a long term goal. Uh, you foresee that uh, over time, you know, mm -hmm. uh, what you're doing is right, and you have the the right attitude towards you know, right attitude uh, mm -hmm, uh, towards uh, uh, having a a strong and winning mentality. I think we will, we will prevail. Pak, ada nggak pak cerita di hidup bapak ini personal life uh, yang awalnya di kesannya gagal, terus ternyata dia sekarang sukses banget gitu. Um, maybe a, a different example, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, early in my career, uh, I, I found uh, maybe talk about uh, yeah, money a little bit. Uh -huh. Early in my career, uh, came into money very easily, right? Okay. Not because of work, uh -huh. but because of uh, stock trading. Oh, <laughs> so, jangan ditiru ya. <laughs> so. <laughs> So in I think it, after two years uh, mm -hmm. of working, you know, can buy a house, can buy a car, you know, okay. and because uh, all, all started with you know trading in, in stocks. So very maybe this everything was booming lah yeah? at that time in uh, in Malaysia where I live. Um, then I said okay, okay, this is good money, and you know let, let's not do it anymore. <laughs> Then I, I stopped doing it. Then I thought, wow, this is a 1995, 96. Oh, good opportunity again to go in. <laughs> and started uh, 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 going in again. Lost everything. Oh. So, so I don't regard that as failure, but I think it, it's a, a wake up call, uh. right? So you, you are so sure that you know you can repeat the yeah. success that you got maybe two years ago, three years ago. But the whole thing turned around. Whatever I, I I made, you know, I lost everything back. But I really spent the money, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> buy a house, buy a car, you know, everything, right? So sat back, said, okay, okay, I, I gotta stop this. So okay, we learn from there. But then some, uh, I think early two thousand, he said, I, I don't believe it. I think I'm better in again. this already. I went in again. Oh, okay. And guess what? 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 Lost again. Oh my god. So, right? So this is uh Doubles. yeah, so it's not I would say failure, but uh, yeah. you you learn from failures. But sometimes, you know, <laughs> you want to try again, you know, but then it doesn't. <laughs> so to, from you know thereafter never again. No 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 more I was called punting la, or, or, right? Yeah. In, in the stock market except yeah. for CMB Niaga, or CMB <laughs> bank uh, shares. <laughs> so yeah, so it, it drives a loop uh, a behavior, something that I think that I'm good at. You know, sometimes I, I over, maybe overconfident. Yeah. Now I know oh. that yeah, this is not something for me. Maybe it's something for somebody else. Who have more knowledge about stock market and, and, and things like that? Let, let them be the professional who, who do this. For me, it's uh, yeah, in, in less in other things you know. that uh, that uh, maybe less risky or, or you know uh, don't go for quick wins uh, or, or profits. So really, for me, it's yeah, have this long term consistency in in building a career, uh, building uh, uh, you know a strong uh, family life and, and so forth. Tapi Bapak pasti pernah sedih, kecewa, once setbacks, ya Pak? Um, How you manage? You mean professionally? In yeah, career? Yeah, yeah, both lah, both. Either professional or personally. I mean like, how you overcome with it, Pak? And then you rebound? Yeah, so I would say there was one time, I can't remember which period, maybe back in the 90s. Right, I was. Uh, I haven't uh, born yet, guys. Nineties, of course, we were born. Then empat pak. Yeah, ninety-seven, ninety-six. So you were maybe two years old, right? Like, <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, not ninety-four. Okay, yeah, after I got a quiz for you, eh, nineteen ninety-four. Oh my god. Okay. Mm, okay. Ready. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I think back in the day, uh, you know, when we work really hard. And you know, I, I started in the workforce in 1991. I think uh, oh. by 96, 97, you know, five, six years in the workforce. Uh, the disappointment is really, uh, I think, with regards to not not getting promoted after you know, uh, all the hard at, work, mm -hmm. you know, all, all the hard work, and then I uh, I think the because of that, I felt very disappointed. I was also disappointed with my supervisor for for not. So you get a lot of negative thoughts. Yeah. Right. Pinter dan let pak. 
So yeah, my first instinct was, oh, I, I don't think this is the company for me. I, I oh. gotta find something different, do something different. Undung. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, but somehow, I don't know. Life find its way, or uh, the career find its way. Uh, there will be recognition by by you know mm. other people within the organization who can uh, perhaps uh, know I have other uh, talents or, or skills to do things differently, uh, uh, do a different job. So I, I did try doing different things, and you know from there um, the the career also took off uh, differently. Something uh, that uh, uh, you know totally different from what I'm doing. You know, I started my career as in sales. Eh? Oh, yeah. Jadi bukan di finance. Oh, bukan di finance. I started my career in oh. sales. I actually have to visit a, a, a client almost every day. I have to visit client. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then I went to marketing. I, I went in. Uh, then I went back into sales. Huh. Uh, then I went into product. So a, a variety of things. I think uh, after in 2005, I went to finance. So that will be after 14 years. Of doing different jobs in sales, product, as well as uh, 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 even marketing, yeah. So, but finance, I've stuck on with it for until now, lah. So, terjebak semua hidup ni pak kalau di finance. More than uh, yeah, close to twenty years already in finance. So yeah, you know, from from this kind of disappointment, you find other avenues. Maybe you know, uh, you have to have confidence in yourself to to mm. know that yeah. It's something I can do. It's something that I enjoy doing, even though it's something new, something tough. So today I have a, a, a one session also of uh, Ashik Opi with uh, staff about uh, I think 11, 12 staff, yeah. and also some of them uh, uh, did say that yeah they, they they would like to try something different because they are in the same job for the last six years or eight years. I always encourage anybody right, then never stop learning, continue to do different things right. Maybe you you find something that uh, you like even more. Uh, in in um, in other areas, like for instance, right, um, finance hmm. uh, directorate. It's not a finance directorate. It's also transformation. It's also strategy. Uh, it's also there's tax in there. Uh, there's operations, <laughs> right? Uh, there is uh, uh, SPAP. There's SPAP. There's procurement. procurement. There's admin. <laughs> there's property management. So you know you get to do. Many many different things mm-hmm. uh, with, within the director. Yeah. So if you, today you are doing tax, for instance, yeah. right, yeah. and you want to do, let's say, maybe or oh, FRS nine uh, accounting standards provision. Okay. okay? Uh, yeah, we, we have opportunity because we are looking for talent or want to build talent in in, in those areas. So and, and maybe you find your 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 calling, your niche, right? You find your success there. Yeah. yeah. Dan si Aminiaga itu sangat memfasilitasi buat seluruh timnya yang mau berkembang, yang mau mencoba banyak hal dan mengembangkan talenta dan saya rasakan sendiri soalnya Pak. Hmm. Oke okay, Pak, as the closing question, um, gimana ya Pak? Caranya kita memotivasi orang lain gitu ya untuk bisa melihat keberhasilan tuh nggak cuma uh, melulu dari sisi kemenangan, melihat keberhasilan tuh sebagai sesuatu yang lebih menyeluruh dan holistik gitu Pak. Karena hmm. tadilah uh, kami-kami ini generasi muda perlu dicerahkan pak karena tadi terbiasa instan instan. Yeah, so even for me, I hope that I could be an inspiration uh, uh, to others, right? How you know uh, one can really find success by you know doing different things. How? Hmm. Huh? Um, okay. See, even for me in my role. I would say this year, uh, I want to spend more time really on, on people development because I think uh, people cannot development uh, cannot develop just uh, doing things on their own. They they need help. Maybe it's mentoring. Maybe uh, mm. just spending time and uh, with uh, uh, somebody uh, a supervisor or, or or a senior member of the organization. And it's very important that you know uh, our staff, uh, people like you, people like. Uh, 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 in the levels that may, 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 may not be able to see their directors uh, every day, to for them to hear from us, I think things like town hall is, is very important. But uh, now you know with this Ashik Opi, right? I think there's more engagement now uh, at a skip level uh, yeah. uh, uh, setting. It's not for me to know them better, but I, for, for for the staff better, but also for them to, to know me better and you know ask me questions. And today, you know, uh, I shared a lot with the the, the, the 
the OP group, right? Oh. I've done, and uh, and they also ask me questions, uh, some personal questions, and I do welcome that because oh. I I'm, I hope that you know what they can get from me will be a source of inspiration of uh, to them also professionally and and and, and personally. So yeah, if you ask me, yeah, what inspire me, uh, you know, uh, to to drive success, I also have people who share with me yeah, their success stories, uh, mm. you know, uh, that really you know, got me thinking. Yeah, maybe I can follow a path, right? Um, sometimes we are too. What's that word? Um, oh, what the word? Uh, Panutan role play. Eh, sorry, roll. Uh, teladan, teladan, apa? No, no, we want to, we want success, we want success too quickly, right? Oh, it's impatient. I would say, right? Yeah, right? even, but uh, yeah. don't be too impatient. I think, especially if you have time on your side when you are much younger, you know, take the time to really um, make a name for yourself, make a name uh, 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 within the organization, within the company, and the success will come. Don't don't be too overly uh, uh, impatient in, in driving success. Again, success is a journey, ya, Pak. It's a process, not a destination, I think. Because tadi kita harus lebih sabar dalam menjalani prosesnya. Itu yang kita, kita-kita di generasi muda ini jadi makin barang langka, Pak, sabar tuh. Karena ngelihatnya kok kayaknya yang lainnya cepet nih, gitu. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sabar, ya, yeah, yeah. so, I think it's a right way. Yeah. <laughs> And so, ya tadi Pak, social pressure juga. Mm-hmm. Kita punya uh, seribu pertanyaan nih, Pak. Thousand questions in Q&A box. Saya bacakan ya, teman-teman. Dear Pak Keke, I wanna ask how we face insecurities, Pak. When we already did our best and put so much effort in our work, but the reality sometimes vice versa. So, how we can maximize our full potential on that. Terima kasih. Oke, okay, uh, so I do not know who asked the question, but thank you uh, uh, okay. for that question. Yes, uh, you know, even when uh, I, I talk to uh, my, my group of uh, 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 you know, uh, staff, mm-hmm. yeah, in fact, uh, this morning, uh, I can give an example. So I have a, you know, regular uh, updates from my team and things like, uh, you know, projects and transformation put so much effort, not only one person, but a group of people so, uh, put in so much effort. Uh, mm. And sometimes, it, we get disappointing results, right? Um, I guess from disappointing uh, results, uh, we learn from it. Why was it? Uh, uh, we try to uh, analyze and uh, try to find the, the root cause of why something did not work out as as well as we have planned. Mm-hmm. And most of the time, right, uh, we do find the answer. And that's where we need to uh, uh recalibrate a little bit and you know see what else we can move and tweak look at the different levers that uh, uh, has caused some of these uh, uh you know results that have, may not be may be coming our way so i i guess sometimes it's uh, disappointing especially if you work on a project for many weeks or many months uh. mm. but uh, there are ways for us to overcome it but I think more importantly, collectively, if we can work as a team, collaborate and work with uh, uh, people with similar attitude, right attitude yeah. to build success, I think we can overcome this uh, insecurities. Because I think it's important that uh, all of us uh, share successes and all of us learn from failures to, to rise up from some of these uh, uh, you know, setbacks that, uh, that we, uh, we have. So I think to, uh, again throughout everybody's career, uh, there are instances where you know we have ups and downs. I think uh, maybe the, the person who asked that question maybe uh, experiencing a period where you know mm-hmm. uh, things may not be uh, uh, at its peak or maybe you know, it's a down period. But uh, you know over time uh, there will be I, I would say that you know um, there will be periods of more success, that you have more successes than you. Know, that uh, you have, uh, you know, setbacks, and these setbacks, I think, it builds resiliency for us to, you know, do things differently, and you know, and if that can be achieved, then uh, a success, uh, uh, maybe just knocking on the door. So that that would be my take on on you know, uh, this. But uh, don't let those insecurities. I uh, I hopefully these are just short term, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, translate into uh, anything negative, but I think use it positively. 
Oke, okay. next question. Oh, Mas Arief Sumartono, Pak. Is this the one that join Epic Ngopi this noon? From your team, kan? Yeah, this From... my team. Halo, Mas Arief. Arief, why didn't you ask me this question the <laughs> earlier today? Kenapa nggak tadi? Iya, betul. Apa pencapaian terbaik, Bapak, sampai saat ini? What your best achievement, Pak? Um, so, I, I, for, for me, right, uh, success is not achieved uh, 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 by me, you know, uh, individually. I think uh, it's a team success. So, I, I don't foresee my success. I, I won't have success if I, I, I do not have a good bunch of people, you know, that work with me. I, if I don't have a, a, a strong family life, mm. uh, support from uh, 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 family from my wife. So, you know, I, I think my, my greatest success, I would say, at this juncture, I would say I, I am very uh, happy with where I am. I, I would say that, yeah, throughout uh, my career, I may not have a lot of setbacks, but, uh, you know, and, but uh, over the, over the, over a period of time, I think, you know, this period, I have success uh, at the office uh, professionally have success at home family is very happy children are, are working you know <laughs> already yeah. so for me that this is not much i want uh, i'll ask for so yeah. yeah you ask me yeah this is the 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 period of i where i'm you know enjoying most of uh, uh, what i have uh, contributed i have worked for so, uh, so far so I'm old enough to say that uh, my, my children are already working. So when your children are already working, it's a lot more relief as a parent because uh, you don't have to worry about paying for uh, school, university tuition anymore. So I, now I spend more money for myself, <laughs> on myself and for my wife. Ini pasti relate juga untuk kebanyakan uh, orang tua orang tua muda di Siam Iniaga ketika anaknya sudah bekerja itu udah plong rasanya lega gitu ya. Next question. Kita ada dari Pak Agung dari Regulatory Reporting Group nih Pak. Hey Pak Keke, what would you say? What would you say to your younger self, Pak? Ah. Uh, that could help you achieve goal faster, or maybe avoid mistakes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, my younger self, let's say if uh, you know younger self, let's say I twenty, let's say maybe. 30 years yeah, old, yeah, uh, yeah. 30 years old, if I can go back in time, yeah, I'll of course, give myself tips on stop trading, right? I know. Okay, tip ya, stop stop trading, ya. If you ask me that, I would say, uh, I want to build a, a, a patience, uh, right? Hmm. Uh, sabah, you know, in, 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 in building a career. Um, but, uh, there are times in the past, right, uh, when I, I get anxious uh, very easily, right? Get rattled by, by people, by comments uh, from uh, uh. people that, uh, you know, may have an uh, 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 impact in, in, you know, with me both professionally and, and personally. So, yeah, have that kind of patience, uh, uh, build my build our own character, you know, uh, values, right? Uh, Focus maybe yeah, if I be possible, uh, focus a uh, uh, a little bit more on the children, oh, right? Okay. Because at, at one time, right, um, I have to, uh, two children. I can tell you, uh, okay. one the first child. I spend a lot of time with my my, my mm. first child, right? Uh, and I read, I I, I I spend time with them, read to them, you know, go swimming with them, uh, with uh -huh. her, right? Second child, somehow, I don't know, in the period where I think I, I work a lot harder. So maybe uh, my, my second child is actually old, uh, slightly younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um, and no, my, my second child is actually much younger than you. My first child is slightly only one year younger than you. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so, so loss. Uh, mm -hmm. The kind of attention that Moment. I gave her the first child. So I you know if I go back, I said, yeah, I spend just as much time as the second child. But they grew up, you know, uh, so um, fast, become yeah. very loving children and mm -hmm. loving sisters. <laughs> so, yeah, so maybe uh, to me to be a little bit more patient and find a little, uh, spend a little bit more time uh, with family. Uh, the family members who, who needs the, the attention at that time. Pagung, kalau Pak Kekai bisa turn back time, beliau mau pertama lebih sabar. Yang kedua lebih menghabiskan waktu bersama yang tercinta. Is there any question? Masih masih banyak pakai Pak, what the biggest win of your career and life? 
Oke. Okay. Why do you consider it your biggest win, Mbak Sinta? Oke, okay, I maybe not talk about biggest win in my career. <laughs> I can talk to you winning uh, uh, win fall, I must say. Okay. Have I have been lucky before? Okay. Two times, I you won't even believe it. So you know, uh, early in my career, I think second year of, of my career, uh-huh. right? Uh, lucky draw. Oh. So, uh, I was working in a, a foreign bank at that time. So when you refer a, a, a credit card, okay. right? Uh, you get one one ticket uh-huh. referral, and you know, and then lucky draw came lah. You no, know, all the everyone refer you get a lucky draw. Okay. Lucky draw ticket. Okay. So I won the first prize. Apa tu pak? Trip for two to to London. Oh, right. Okay. I was second year at work, right? So actually, I used that uh, in the second or third year, 1993, third year at, at work. I used that as you know honeymoon. honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, kind of lucky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then again, in I can't remember which year. Uh, I was traveling between. I think. Uh, This is domestic travel only. I think going to Sabah or, or oh. Kalimantan. Eh? <laughs> so you buy a, a, a in that uh, duty free shop. Okay. Anything you buy, you get a, a ticket. Okay. Uh, lucky draw lagi. Never. Yeah, uh, a couple of months later, I got a call. Uh-huh. Uh, you are the winner of uh, this lucky draw. Oh, what what did I win? Oh, you want a car? <laughs> I bought a car in a lucky draw, so I, I guess I'm I, I'm pretty lucky yeah, in that oh sense. Seru banget. Yeah, so I want a car, want a trip. Oh, so the, so this is uh, maybe the the type things I have won, but in in Korea, right? <laughs> I I feel that uh, where where I am right now as a director of CMB Niaga, as a contributor towards uh, uh, the growth of CMB Niaga, I am. I consider myself a winning I, a, and a winner, being able to be with such a, a group of nice uh, colleagues and uh, and staff. It's really, really a wonderful organization to work for. Luar biasa, London and Car. London and Car. Maybe I'll win again. <laughs> so I just came back from uh, <laughs> vacation. I also uh, start uh, put in a, a ticket. <laughs> okay. Ada lagi pertanyaan, bapak ibu? There are many ways to find the goal we seek, pa. One of which is learning from society, and we must be confident in the efforts we make today. What do you think about the mentality of the new generation, Gen Z, pa? Gen Z to who wants everything instantly. Ia ia lahir tahun dua ribu. Yeah, dua ribuan ya. Yeah. Okay. My so, children, Gen Z. Gen, my, I have one daughter born two thousand and one. So. Z, in, uh, <laughs> So yeah, I got one daughter born 1995, one daughter born uh, 2001. Very different, huh. all right. <laughs> so, so I would take maybe the second daughter as an example. Um, born 2001, this year 20, just turned 22 years old, yeah, right? Um, compared to me, compared to her mother, and compared to the sister. Right, uh, the ambition is much, much bigger, much, much higher. You know, the expectation of a uh, 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 success uh, or the speed in getting success is is much higher. So you know, and a lot of times, really don't want to seek uh, help from parents. Oh. They want to do it on on their own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. even though for me, I think I may have. Better resources to to help, but yeah. uh, I think uh, she she works in uh, New York now, oh, right? Okay. And everything she did on her own, she find work on her own. You know? uh, I think now uh, her company takes her to uh, to Europe also. So th- things they can do on, on on their own. So I think the Gen Z's uh, 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 mindset and mentality quite different. They want to get things. Uh, uh, Or find success uh, quicker. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look for opportunities on, on their own, and I think to a certain extent that's good. But uh, I, the only thing about the Gen Z is that uh, they may not be able to accept failures. Oh, 
yeah. or, or, or set back Setbacks. because everything must be the up and up, better and better, mm -hmm. right? Because Gen Z has a, a lot more uh, avenues for them to compare themselves, whether yeah. uh, through social media or through uh, people they interact with. So my, my advice to Gen Z is, yeah, don't, don't only measure success through, you know, um, it's the speed in which you 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 uh, gain success, but mm -hmm. measure it over a lifetime. There will be uh, instances where, you know, the Gen Z will have setbacks and we have maybe even failures, right? And it's really uh, uh, inevitable that everybody's uh, career go through periods like that. Yeah. Um, in fact, if you are working in, let's say, a New York or Singapore, you may lose your job anytime. Mm. Right, so things may be going well now, but there are times, periods at, 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 at which you know things may not go well, and then you gotta do different things, uh, you start all over. So, these things may happen. So, build something over a longer period and uh, uh, embrace uh, some of these uh, setbacks that you have, and also uh, uh, learn from it, grow from it, yep. and you know, build a, a resiliency from it. Be patient, Gen Z. Anybody yeah. else? Okay, Pak Abraham si Haloho. Pak ke sore, when we have reached our success gloriously, what we should do next, Pak? Um, I, I don't think uh, uh, um, there's an end to achieving success, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you will continue Continues. to make, make, ensure that you have continued success. So it's like uh, the example I gave you, right? Uh, the New York Mets won the World Series in 1986. They never won again. So they, they, they were winners, but then thereafter, there's no success okay. thereafter. So for, for you know, all of you, you know, success is measured over a longer term, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, in, in the professional life, uh, you, throughout your career, in, in sports, well, we are, yeah, in the sports, maybe outside of the sports, professionally, what, what else uh, can you do to contribute to, uh, uh, towards uh, the sports or for us, how else do we contribute towards the the organization so you may have a glorious success right now but uh, not let's not get that in into your head and you know think that oh you have done enough there's always more that we can do to you know, drive better success so last september right mm -hmm. uh, october every quarter we have an uh, analyst uh, uh, meeting yeah. right Every quarter, uh, we do it in April, we do it in uh, uh, Jul uh, July, mm -hmm. and we do it in October. In January, we do another one, right? I, and I, every time in, during an uh, analyst meeting, I will share with the, all the analysts and, and, and uh, investors, right? Uh, and very good, Sian Biniaga, success. Five quarters of consecutive growth. But there will be a period that, you know, the growth will stop. Or yeah. there will be period when you know, there are uh, certain setbacks, whether it's pandemic or whether it's uh, something that happened uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the macroeconomic sense. So you cannot always uh, uh, get uh, winning every quarter and, uh, and every year, but there will be setbacks. And, you know, so for us, it's to em embrace some of these setbacks. You know, I think this is at this time the most glorious uh, moment for Sian Biniaga, okay. ROE at, at the highest. But uh, we, <laughs> we yeah. will continue to get better, right? Yeah. Over time, but there will be periods that it may not be uh, just uh, may not be as good. Yeah. So yeah, so don't, don't bask on the glory too much. So success <laughs> will come, and then there will be, sometimes setback. it may be followed by a setback. So, but it's bouncing back from that. Okay, but well, agree. Other question. Morning, Pakeke. How would you ask for help? If you had issues developing a healthy work-life balance, Marika Afrita. Ah, yeah. So, oh, nice so mm. maybe you're gonna ask yourself what is healthy, what is unhealthy. Nah? Ah. So I think uh, we we gotta pace ourselves. Uh, uh, health is very important. So never and never ignore health. Um, I've known people that work so hard they ignore their health, and and people very close uh, to me, right? Uh, especially. Uh, in work that requires you to to travel uh, from one country to another different time zone you know i think uh, stress uh, uh, uh mentally also de uh, dealing with different cultures right um, so the, and that impacted health over the long term right so if you're in that kind of a a, a job 
then it's important we are, you need to know when to uh, uh, do things differently or maybe look for something different. So I don't think over the long term we can, you know, take stress. If it's, you know, stress out of uh, 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 24 hours, you got stress every day for 15 hours, that is not healthy. Right. And where to ask for help? That, that was your question. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, our supervisor, sorry, our supervisor, our HR, we, we do provide uh, 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 um, benefit facilitation. For yeah, us. yeah, a facility for, for yeah. employees who are undergoing uh, such yeah. uh, stress, whether, whether it's mentally or, or physically, uh, yeah. to overcome it. So you, you, I would suggest that do not stay in that that uh, uh, situation for for too long. If we we need to seek help, I think uh, HR is a good outlet. They they yep. do have the the uh, facility, uh, the outlet for for anybody to 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 seek help. I think uh, more important directly go to a supervisor. If you're uncomfortable going yeah. to a supervisor, talk to somebody mm -hmm. who may be able to uh, uh, direct you to the right uh, 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 channels uh, to to get help. Yeah. Um, I would think that most supervisors will be able to understand the, the situation if uh, somebody is under tremendous uh, uh, stress, mm -hmm. right? There are some jobs, right, uh, that is always stressful, right, uh, and always you know, may not get that kind of a. Uh, uh, Suggest <laughs> about <Huh>? CFO. <laughs> CFO, if you got good staff, it's okay. Some job that always stress. But I'll give you an example, right? Uh, regulatory reporting, we have staff in yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Whether it's Lebaran uh, or, or Imle, mm -hmm. Holiday, Christmas, mm -hmm. and Thai New Year, have yeah. to come and work because OJK, we have to report on, on the 5th yeah. of every month. Group reporting, we need to get things done uh, for, 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 for group, for, for budget. So there's always... Uh, um, Time constraint, right? Mm -hmm. And it also impacts uh, the the work life balance because when other people are enjoying themselves on on Sunday, okay. oh, but yeah, on Sunday. the first of the month we got to do all these reportings, now, right? Yeah. On the fifth, you need, uh, let's say on the fifth of uh, uh, January is Sunday, but uh, Arage got to come back to office and make sure that they they, they load for OJ car and so forth. So, but over time, all this get accumulated. Right, all, well, all all the stress get accumulated, but yeah, it, it, it would be very very helpful if uh, you you start talking to supervisors and even HR to to find a way out of the situation if you cannot uh, uh, endure such a stress. Yeah, another question, Pak. Good afternoon, Pak Keke. How do you reward yourself for the success you have achieved? Yourself. Self reward, Pak. Ini sangat <laughs> sangat Gen Z sekali, Pak. Suksesnya belum banget, kita udah self reward pokoknya healing, <laughs> healing, traveling. Uh, I, I reward myself the food. <laughs> uh, no, I I yeah. think the 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 biggest satisfaction I I I get is really spending time on vacation with my family. Okay. Right. Uh, unfortunately, I. I usually cannot get everybody together because they're all over the place, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I just came back from vacation. I think that is a reward that I gave myself and my, my family uh, really enjoyed that, that that vacation. So that's how I reward myself. And when I reward myself, I'm, not, I'm also rewarding the, the family. So it's mm -hmm. a, a, the family sharing in, in those rewards and successes. I think most of us juga begitu ya, spend time with family adalah... Uh... Self reward terindah. Hmm. <laughs> Tapi masih ada call lagi. Ya, ya. <laughs> Di tengah liburan dapat di call. Siapa yang berani? Ada. Mari ikan. Mari ikan. Mari ikan juga libur. Satu. <laughs> oh iya yeah, betul. Juga juga block leave. Hello Pak Keke. How do you manage threats and obstacle in life? Did you have any key success for doing something? Hmm. Threats and obstacle. I won't call threats, but definitely obstacles. Uh, I think earlier uh, part in my career, um, I try to avoid them, oh. try to sweep it under the, the, the carpet because I do not like uh, uh, confronting any uh, really? obstacles mm -hmm. or, or threats. But over time, I guess, uh, uh, as your career progress, uh, you, you build confidence uh, in your, your own ability. 
uh, in your own uh, what you call assuredness in in you know, mm -hmm. your own own the uh, capabilities and belief, then you know uh, it's easier to to confront all this uh, different obstacles and threats because you can reason much better. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, with people who are, you know, maybe confronting you or raising these obstacles and threats. So there will be you know, engagement, two-way engagement to help uh, resolve this. Yeah, sometimes uh, you will also meet with uh, unreasonable demands, uh, obstacles. And, you know, uh, and these are the ones that uh, you may want to give in a little sometimes, but uh, you know, some some battles you, you win, some battles you maybe just uh, uh, learn. Uh, yeah, give it a little bit. Especially, you no, know, uh, you work in tax, you should know. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, yeah, some cases you think, I, I know I can win this, but I yeah. never mind. I'll, I'll you know, you yeah, I, I sacrifice this one, but I want to go for a, a, a bigger case. Yeah. Uh, to, to win a bigger case. Sometimes in that so you so you 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 satisfy some of the demands of the the the, the, the other party, so yeah, um, overcoming threats and obstacles not easy, but uh, if you know how to balance it, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, prioritize and you know take some wins, but along the same time, you know, yeah, uh, take some losses. I think at the end of the day, it's about the process and jam terbang, ya pak. I think okay, there's no such an instant success. And I think it's an important topic also. Uh, for for me, it's right looking at the success over a long period. I think that's the message I want to share with everybody. Mm -hmm. Success comes in different forms. Success comes in uh, uh, being able to consistently uh, 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 deliver results. Success comes in uh, growth in professional life. Success comes in growth in personal life. Mm -hmm. uh, success comes in you know building values for yourself that you can share with others, mm -hmm. share with others that you work with, share with others in, in the family. So don't only measure success by just winning something, but measure success by looking at things that you have achieved around you that may not have a price to it. Right, something that uh, you hold dearly, something that uh, uh, you will assess by yourself as you know, something you have uh, achieved uh, in your life. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's no price for you know, things that you achieve in your life. But if you, are, you know, set out to do something and you have uh, meet those goals, that is success already. So maybe that's uh, in short. Uh, I would like to just close with that message. Thank you very much for Thank you banget me. Pak Keke, thank you banget untuk apa sharing yang sangat insightful. So, Bapak Ibu semua, semoga kita semua bisa mendefinisikan kembali, memaknai kembali apa arti kesuksesan dan sampai jumpa lagi di podcast berikutnya. Selamat menikmati sisa-sisa tahun 2023 ya, Pak. Karena tinggal less than a month we will uh, say hello uh, to 2024. Yeah, today is December first. Huh? Oke, okay, so thank you semuanya. Terima thank kasih. You. Bye. Eh. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>